Optic shows. Shows that are mainly total drama inspired, starring anthropomorphic objects with stick figure limbs attached to them. Some optic shows are different from others, and some keep the well-known traditional competition formula. If you don't know what an object show is, then get out of my channel. This right here is the object show iceberg. Let's get started. Tier 1, the tip of the iceberg. The OSC. The OSC, aka the object show community, is, well, a community of young animators who make these shows. There is a 99% chance you're wearing the OSC since, well, you're watching this. BFDI BFDI, aka Battle for Dream Island, is the mother of every show created. It was the first object show ever made, released on January 1st, 2010. The show takes inspiration from Survivor, Total Drama Island, and the Emoji Movie. Okay, no. Anyway, to summarize, uh, the show is about 20 objects that compete for an island as a prize. Each episode, one person gets the boot. Sometimes there are episodes where an eliminated contestant rejoins, or heck, even a new person rejoins, which brings us to... Recommended Characters Also known as RCs, recommended characters are characters requested by the viewers, in which some make a cameo in the show, which is pretty cool. Sometimes they can even become a contestant in the show. How gnarly. New Friendly <laughs> Ah yes, the national anthem of object shows. I don't think anyone in the OSC doesn't recognize this tune. Say, Boombox, could you play that song we were listening to yesterday? Uh, it reminds me of those times you were on BFDI and II. Remember that? Created by the man himself, Kevin McLeod. This song has appeared in the first scene of every optic show from 2010 to 2017. Stereotypes. This one isn't a big deal, it's referring to the characters, stereotypes, and object shows. Take Flower, for example, the stereotypical angry teenage girl. She's one of my favorites in BFB, though. There are also the stereotypical nice ones, like Kite, for example. You get the idea. Adobe Animate. Formerly known as Adobe Flash or Macromedia Flash, Adobe Animate is a software that is commonly used to create these shows. Yeah. Competition-based shows. Essentially, 90% of all object shows out there. Shorts. No, not these. Shorts are basically mini-episodes to distract the audience from the main series. Some of these shorts can be reanimations of real-life skits. Some are even originally made by the official creators themselves. Inanimate Insanity Inanimate Insanity was the second object show created, made by Adam Katz when he was 13. It takes the roots of BFDI and other reality shows and kind of gave other people the spark that goes like this. Huh, maybe I can do that as well. And then 1,000 other object shows spawned right after that. The show seemed a little bit more mature than BFDI, however. Hey guys, how about we choose some? She's cool, right? No, not really. She's really <laughs> Let's shoot Hand drawn shows. Shows that are hand drawn. <laughs> Tier 2. Below the surface. Cancelled shows. This entry refers to all the shows that got discontinued either before the first episode came out or during the production. Shape World. A show that gained popularity for how bad it was and what? The creator's back and what? It got rebooted recently? Damn, I did not notice that. Well, I know what I'm going to watch soon. Joke shows. Shows that are satire based. Object Show 87 is a good example of a joke show. Other shows like Object Filler and BFPOR are also notable. PowerPoint shows. The century is pretty straightforward, shows that were made using PowerPoint. However, I feel like this genre has gone extinct, mainly since people began making animatic shows using Adobe Animate, which is a way better program to use even for animatic, to be honest. Fiery's Candy Bar Adventure Fiery's Candy Bar Adventure was a game made using Flash 8, starring our favorite BFDI contestant, Fiery. <laughs> Except that was made before BFDI was even born. Non-competition shows. 
Shows that aren't about competing for a prize and are usually like Saturday morning shows. Project Saga is a really good example. <laughs> Timely shows. The Daily Object Show, the Hourly Object Show, the Five Secondly Object Show, the Christmasly Object Show. Basically, satirical shows that come out in a specific time. Total Fiery Island, a comic strip made by the Huang Twins in the fall of 2008. Again, another piece of history. That clip, he's an OG. The Object Show Movie, a movie created by Potato of Awesome to celebrate the first five years of the Object Show industry. Industry? Community. It was really hated when it was first announced. I mean, just look at those limbs. But when it came out, I honestly really liked it, and I really hope we get to see episode 3 soon. Also, he posted a prologue last year, which has got tier animation, by the way. Tier 3, The Abyss. Object Redundancy. Object Redundancy was an old show that contained mature language, and what do you know, the kids didn't like it. Object redundancy. No, put your hand down. Now, put your hand down, everyone. Nobody likes obje object redundancy. It's, it contains curse words, strong language, adult thieves, and sexual content. What the heck? You reversed this clip, didn't you, motherfucker? On the first episode of Inanimate Insanity Season 2, there was this one notable clip. Wow, you're really good at this non-interacting thing. How do you pull it off? Gibberish? Well, let's reverse it. Yeah. I remember Daniel and I freaking out at this back in 2016. Good times indeed. Wrong finger. In the first episode of BFDI Season 1, there was a scene where Leafy and Pin play rock, paper, scissors, and Pin pulls out the wrong finger. It still isn't fair. Only one of us can win. Um, Pin, wrong finger. Whoops. Haha. <laughs> After 12 years, Carrie disproved the middle finger thing by raising the ring finger. I still like to believe that Pin canonically flipped Leafy off. This picture is tender profile worthy, by the way. NSFW ships. Oh boy. Evil Leafy. Recommended by Mr. Orange890, is an antagonist in BFDIA and IDFB. She was also one of the 30 recommended characters who could have been voted into the game in The Reveal and BFDIA. Evil Leafy is identical to Leafy in terms of her base appearance. However, the key differences are that Evil Leafy's main body color is red rather than green, and she has a somewhat realistic face. Bo. Bo is a contestant in Inanimate Insanity that dies. Fully dies rather than being recovered. <laughs> she turns into a ghost in which resides with Doe in the mansion that magically appeared in Season 2, Episode 6. There can't be anything that scary in there. And besides, since when did that even get here? I've never seen it before. Until she somehow comes back in the third season, it just happened? Problem? One. One is a show centered around a psychological horror type of genre. The show follows 18 contestants who are teleported in batches of six into the plane by Aerie to compete in his ill-planned simplistic competition show where the winner receives a wish for whatever they want. The batches of contestants themselves come from different universes. The first batch comes from a world where anthropomorphic objects exhibit human-like features such as participating in a civilization. The second batch who debuted and just tripped lived in a world alongside humans but have to keep their sentience a secret to them. The third batch, from Screwball, are seemingly based on what members of the OSC call joke characters, and come from worlds that even Aerie himself is not sure of. To summarize, this show is really good, go watch it. <laughs> Random Object Battle Royale So, Team Brown. That's racist. What a gem. Anime Studio. 
Ah yes, the classic animation program. Inanimate Insanity Season 1 was animated using Anime Studio up until Episode 16. Object Terror. I mean, let's be honest, this iceberg wouldn't be complete without mentioning Object Terror at least once. The plot is your typical game show plot that comes with the standard object show package. 21 contestants compete in a game show hosted by printer and co-hosted by computer to win a giant cruise ship. Seems innocent enough, until... Let's just call it Happy Tree Friends 2.0. And that was that. This wasn't as long as the other YouTube icebergs. I might make a part two soon, but I mean, hey, it's the first time I make an iceberg video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed.